Michael Cross Foods this morning and that's my bulk food supplier. I put in my order yesterday and I didn't have a chance to pick it up. So I'm heading up there today and what I ordered is 100 pounds of flour, 50 pounds of cornmeal, 30 pounds of blueberries, 30 pounds of raisins, 5 pounds of baking powder, and 25 pounds of rice. We're here and now I'm going to go pick up my order. We're here at the warehouse where all the big trucks are and I'm waiting for my delivery which will come out that big door there. So you can see all the trucks here. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, look at that. There goes a big truck. Hello. All packed and ready to go. Here comes my order. Okay, so here's my order. I got my raisins, my baking powder, my rice, there's flour and cornmeal, and then I've got over here more blueberries. Yum, yum, yum. So you ready, guys? Yeah. I want to go to Grandpa and Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Walmart now, and we're going to head in. I've got to pick up some powdered milk, and I was driving right past mm. Walmart, so I'm going to pick that up and hopefully head home after this. We just got finished purchasing three bags of chicken feed. I made a stop there and we got the Walmart um, powdered milk. So now we're heading home. It's almost lunchtime and the kids are looking forward to a blueberry smoothie as part of their lunch. This is what my car looked like after we bought all this stuff. You can see the the bags of feed right there, and then all the flour and the stuff um, is the food on the lower level. So now we have to unload it all and start putting it away. Well, we just opened up 30 pounds of blueberries. We're uh, going to put them in smaller bags and freeze them. And then here, we're putting them to good use already, making a smoothie. And the kiddos like the blueberries too. They like eat them frozen. Well, we're headed to, uh, it's called By George, another restaurant, um, uh, what do you call it, a restaurant supplier. And we're going to, we're going to go get a few more things, and then we'll be done with our uh, restaurant supply run for the day. Kiddos and I love to watch trains, so we're going to go see if we can see the train by the time it gets over to here. Looks like we get to see the train. Let's see if it's an Amtrak or... Oh good, and they moved out of the way. No! I think it's an Amtrak. That doesn't sound like an Amtrak. It, no, it's not. It's uh, Norfolk Southern. Empty! Yeah. How many cars? Are you going to count the two, cars? Three, four, five, 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 We're here. Okay, up here we have chickens. Uh, like a thousand chickens. Uh, and they sell eggs there. It's like a farm. And then they have a whole bunch of cows, too. Well, we got a great deal on some tubelli. Uh, it is, uh, was $6.95 for a 20 pound box. Um, and then we got some Jenny O turkey, was it turkey breast? Yep. Uh, for uh, 99 cents a pound, and we got three of those. Uh -huh. That was a pretty good deal. What do you say? <laughs> it's funny. When you have a large family, people automatically assume that you're going to have more kids because I've had. Two people today and one person yesterday all asked me if I was pregnant, and that's why my brain was been so scattered. Well, are you pregnant? No. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm the fourth person to ask you that.
Mary is enjoying the new Tibetan pasta. What do you think, Mary? She thinks this stuff is a cat meow. It's an awful lot of baby food for six ninety-five. Look at her go. That's fine, Lydia. Here, Mary. Here's some applesauce for you. Well, here's our dinner. We're going to show how we do it for around 40 cents per meal. This meal might actually even be a little cheaper than 40 cents per meal. We have, uh, let's see, beans. They came from the garden. They basically cost us the price of a canning jar lid and seeds. Uh, the peaches came off our tree. That's basically the price of a canning jar lid, which is about 10 cents each. Okay, the applesauce, uh, we get... Um, tons of apples at the orchard down the street. They give us a deal because we buy so many of them. Um, and so that, what did that cost us? Maybe 50 cents a quart of applesauce, maybe a little less. Um, and then the, let's see, we have the mushroom. Um, the can of mushrooms yep. was from your parents. Yep. Those were, so those were free. The chicken was, I think, $1.29 a pound. So that made a huge pot, and then there's a, and there will a, be a, a lot of a cup apples. and a half of milk and one stick of butter, so that's a little expensive. Okay, well, there will be a lot of apples. So that's several orders. meals. The Tubetti, we it, paid, what, about 35 cents a pound for? Something like that. And this was maybe a pound, and it looks like we're going to have a little bit of leftovers. And then the corn I buy frozen, and that's 99 cents a pound. And I did about a pound of that, and we will have leftovers tonight. Okay, and the water was free. Mm. Well, virtually free. So, uh, how much was the meal all total? If we added it up right, this, this is a rough estimate. I'm going to say the entire meal cost us about $3. And we have a lot of leftovers. We have leftovers, and then we fed seven people. So, what's that per plate? That is four, not very much. For 40 cents a plate, but then that doesn't include the leftovers, so you're probably going to get two meals out of this. So that's $3 for 14 meals. At the restaurant supply shop today, we got uh, cornmeal, 50 pounds, and it was about 43 cents a pound. Uh, the brown rice, that's the good rice that's healthy, healthful for you, uh, that was 59 cents a pound. Um, and then the raisins, are a dollar sixty two a pound for thirty pounds. Uh, then we got hello. Hi. We got At Hillcrest Foods. Um, there's always the risk when you have high quantities quantity stuff in the warehouse to have damaged goods, and Hillcrest will sell those damaged goods. In this case, I was able to pick up a hundred pounds of flour. The both bags were damaged. Um, I think this was what twelve something art. Um. Let's take a look here. Uh, twelve thirty-seven. This was this this bag here, King Arthur, Sir Lancelot was twelve thirty-seven, and then and that's this, the really good stuff. This when I went online, if you were to buy this from King Arthur website, it was three pounds for seven fifty in a three pound container, or you could buy a fifty pound, but the fifty pound bag, the cheapest I could find anywhere was fifty dollars, and that didn't include shipping. So we got it for twelve thirty seven. It's probably missing a little, so it's probably not exactly fifty pounds. It's close enough. Right, and this is this is a high gluten flour, which means it's for the artisanal breads that I make. So I'm thrilled with this. This, the Dakota Miller's Choice. This is an all-purpose flour. So this is more what you'd get in your grocery store, and I paid ten sixty one for uh, you know a little less than fifty pounds. But this should keep me busy for about six months. So today, all together, we spent around $240 on the two restaurant supply stores and also the chicken feed, which of course feeds us the eggs. Um, and that is a lot more than we usually spend in a week. We got a lot of high quality food for that will last us several months for only $240. And buying in large quantities is how we stretch our budget. Sometimes if we get way too much of something that we can't use and it's really cheap and we want it anyway, what we do is we'll call up our friends and see if they want a few pounds of it. And often we get rid of everything that we can't use in a reasonable amount of time. And other people get a good deal on it too. So we are blessing others while we get a good deal also. Uh, to find these places, you can look up uh, restaurant suppliers uh, in the phone book or in, on the internet. 
Um, you can also look up food services um, or just ask someone if you know someone who owns a restaurant ask them where they get their supplies from I will buy a distressed bag in order to save money I'll tell you that right now look at that she can't keep herself away no there's nothing more exciting than a new bag of <laughs> a new bag of flour well it sounds really exciting Oops. at least if you're uh, into cooking it's exciting I am making um, the bigger for some ciabatta bread tomorrow. Okay, th that sounds pretty healthy. It's not. Well, I mean, it's not bad for you. It's it's a bread, but it's a flat bread, and it has big, airy pockets, and it's, oh, it's so good. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to stuff it full of ham and some of that fresh Genio turkey breast. Mm -mm. I'm already looking forward to lunch. Sounds good. Can I am too. I'm looking forward to lunch. I just hope I can get up in time to make sure this gets done for lunch. Okay.